didn't go down like I wanted it to go down, man. I thought I had a chance, bro. Thought I had a chance to get this shoe in my size for retail. I mean, I knew it was kind of fool's gold a little bit, especially after what happened with the last colorway. But I thought I thought I, I thought I could have possibly had a chance this time for retail. Anyway, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. If you hear kids playing in the background, that's Jari, Jari's kid, that's my kid, and I'm tired of telling them to be quiet, so hopefully it's just not really bad in the background. I apologize. Um... I'm going to have to get some order in this house. Put it that way. So anyway, but the uh, Jordan, I mean, no, not Jordan. I'm so used to saying Jordan. And I'm tired. It's been a long day. I, I mean, first of all, let me just go ahead and say, um, I went to a funeral today. Rest in peace to my cousin, Lil Maul. Um, that's, my, that's my cousin's son. He passed about a week and a half ago. And, um... In a car accident, so you know that's one of the things that I've been, you know, kind of dealing with, and um, just you know, it was it's a real rough when you go through stuff like that. He was 17 years old, um, high school football player, a student, um, and my my cousin was proud of his son, man. So just trying to help the family get through that, you know what I'm saying? So you know, anyway. I don't really like the shoe thing is the last thing that I be thinking about when stuff like this happens. So that's what you know, that's what I did today. So um rest in peace to my my little cousin, my little cousin, uh Lamar, man. But okay, so let's get into what happened today. This morning, I had to go to a funeral, like I said, so I couldn't go to a, like the mall and try to look for the shoes. Like I didn't even really care about doing that. I just had a couple of people that was supposed to be looking out for me and Everybody came up taking L's and couldn't get my size in this shoe. But I did catch this size. I, I put this size on um, Instagram and showed that they had this one size left in DTLR. And um, th this morning at DTLR was a line. From what I heard, I was talking to the manager. She said it was a line. And people was just trying to get these, man. And all the big sizes kind of went first. So I, I, I would try to go for a 13 in these. And I think that that size probably would have been gone pretty quick anyway if I did have a chance to get them. So I went ahead and went to GOAT and bought my size. So hopefully. But I will do a quick little review of the shoe since I have this small size, this size they had left in hand. Uh, like I said, my boy Retro Rick was like, man, they, I'll go ahead and get that size. He jumped on my IG, saw that I had him in hand. He was like, yeah, just go ahead and get them. I, I find out something to do with them. So, uh, <laughs> shout out to Retro Rick. Um, somebody took my size 13, so I took somebody's size seven and a half. But like I said, they was actually sitting. You look at my Instagram video, they was actually sitting on the, the register, like this display for anybody to come in and cop. So, um, anyway. If you want to get mad at me for buying the size seven and a half, oh well, I take that on the chin. You feel me? Anyway, KD box, man. The original box wasn't like this. It was a very small orange Nike box. I still got that box somewhere because I got the Black History Month. It's just like a regular orange Nike box, real simple with just a Nike swoosh on the side of it. Um, but and I know before I open the shoe, there's a lot of people in my comments on my Instagram. I made two Instagram posts about this shoe today. One was me just showing that Sneakers app sold out in like two minutes. So that was a no-go. And the next one was when I saw this one in hand and I kind of showed it like they got a size seven and a half left at Detail Large Stone Crest and stuff like that. But uh, it's so many comments talking about you can't wear this shoe casually. At this point, bro, I don't know if it's my age or my, my, my maturity about like not caring about what nobody say about me or what nobody think about how I dress. Now, I will say, I won't put this shoe on with no jeans, but I'm going to wear them. When my pair come in, trust, I'm not going to let them just sit like my LeBron 9 Big Bangs. They look like big, bright, orange safety shoes. I'm going to wear I wanted them shoes so bad. It's, it's kind of the thing that started my YouTube career, wanting these right here. Because it was like, Jordans was still something that I've always wanted, a lot of retros. But when they start actually, when Nike basketball was going crazy back in 2011, 2012, 2013 or whatever... And they started doing these all-star packs and basketball, Nike basketball was getting popular again for the current players at the time, KD, LeBron, and all them boys. Like, 
And Kobe, it was nothing like it, man. Nothing like that era, bro. Um, so anyway, let's get into the shoe. I'm going to tell you all the story because I know y'all tired of, you know, to be talking about it. But I'm going to tell you the story real quick about how I tried to get the shoes back in the day. You got uh, Kevin Durant's um, uh, signature right there. You got KD on the box right here. Like I said, they did a new box for these retros. You got Nike, a gold Nike right there on that side. The official name is KD4. The official colorway is metallic, silver, total orange. Retail prices was $130. And the retail price in 2012 when they first dropped was only $95, bruh. So that's another reason I think they was $95 retail and they was reselling for five, between five and 600 And then a few years down the line, they hit the 800 mark. Sometimes you see weathermans and stuff like that. Nerf was $2,500. It's real crazy right now. So hopefully they retro all that stuff. They say they're going to retro. And I paid two fifty dollars on GOAT if I, if I can't catch them for retail. Because all these years I've been seeing them being way more than that. So anyway, let's get into them real quick. Wow! I don't care what nobody say. It's so many people in my comment. Man, them shoes, you can't do nothing but ball in them shoes. Them shoes ain't made for nothing but ball. In your opinion. I get it. Your opinion. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I don't know why I'm showing stamps. I got them straight from a retail store. Got them straight from the DTLR where I got my Flint 13s that everybody talking about. What well, people who don't know nothing about sneakers are saying that they fake because of um, the squeaking and stuff like that. People who don't know nothing about sneakers, bro, are hilarious to me, man. Because they, they act so knowledgeable and don't know nothing, man. Anyway, hey! I can't do the bow as much as I want to because it ain't my size, bro. So anyway... I don't know if it's the lighting or what. Like, the orange don't look... I don't know. It look a little weird on this lighting. But anyway, this is the KD. I'm going to turn the light off just a little bit. There we go. That might be a little bit better. So, anyway, this is the KD... Oh, they look the same. This is the KD4. Uh, oh, the front look like it's glowing already. Dang, the front, that front look like it's... Like the bottom look like they're getting charged up. Did I charge them up with the light? Let me put them against the light. I don't know. Anyway, the glow in the dark bottoms look like they're getting charged up already. So this is the KD4 Galaxy. Originally released in 2012 with the rest of the All-Star pack. Uh, Galaxy phone posits, LeBron 9 Big Bangs, Kobe All-Star Galaxies, and this KD4 Galaxy as well dropped back then. Love this shoe. KD was my favorite out of... LeBron, no, I like LeBron 9s too. LeBron 9s and KD4s was just... Like I said... If I had a YouTube, I had my, I started my YouTube channel in 2014. These dropped in 2012, so it kind of reinvigorated my love for sneakers when these, when Nike basketball started going crazy like this, bro. And they start doing these theme shoes, this space theme shoe. Like I said, I'm not even gonna go crazy with the review because you probably seen this review at a lot of places. But this, the K, this is like the KD Pegasus kind of logo for the space space program, and I think it was in, or was it in Orlando that year in 2012? Um, Nike swoosh and that total bright orange, which don't even look super bright on this camera for some reason, but it must be some because of some kind of the reflective or something that light shining. I don't know. Anyway, orange hits, total orange on that side. Got the galaxy print across the mid, so real shiny. The bottoms of these things got a lot of good traction. They like sticky. You can almost like it's like real sticky on the bottom, and the bottoms actually do glow in the dark as well, man. Galaxy, see the little galaxy print right there. The total orange hits the 3M, right? This is the whole strap is 3M, and it's like that uh, pull for lockdown. And I think it's a part on the LeBron 9 Big Bangs that say the pull, pull for lockdown. And on the inside, you got the little Pegasus again, the Galaxy Pegasus on the horse. Just a lot of vibes on the back. You got that stitched KD. You know what I'm saying? And when you look at the theme of all the Galaxy shoes that dropped that year, the Kobe. And the, um, LeBron got a lot of similarities to this shoe. It was a pack. You know what I'm saying? It was a whole pack. Just like they did a Black History Month pack. But KD do got a couple of standalone shoes like the Weathermans and the Nerfs and stuff. They're actually themed shoes. Um, they have a theme to them. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, bro. This, I want this shoe real bad. This is a seven and a half. Um, going to my boy Retro. And um, I'm sure he knows somebody with a, who needs a seven and a half. But 
I need a size 13. I think I need a 13. I'm hearing some people say the shoe still run a half size too small. I'm hearing people like shout to Tony D. I looked at his video. He was like, they kind of run true to size, but he like his shoes to fit a little snug anyway. I like to have a lot of room in my toe because my big toe is just super long. So I just, <laughs> I can't wear phone posits to this day because it's just the way the shoe made. It's not comfortable on my foot. I did wear a size 12 in these back in the day, but my that was back in 2012, and my feet, for some reason, expanded. I don't know whether I gained weight or my foot just got a little bit bigger since then. But in the last 10 years, 12 years, whatever, my feet got a little bit bigger. You know what I'm saying? So you got your Nike swoosh right there on the toe. Got that bright, silvery color on it. And it's a lot of reasons that people say you can only wear these to ball. Me? Back in the day, we used to wear these with jeans. Well, I ain't never worn with jeans. I always worn with, like, joggers. Remember, joggers was real popular, the cargo joggers and the joggers with the little scrunch around the bottom and stuff like that. That's what I wore these with. Nowadays, I put on a tech fleece, and I still rock tech fleece. I'm starting to hear people say tech fleece playing out. That's why I'm saying, bro, I'm to the point, age, whatever you call it, I'm starting not to care. I don't care. I'm not finna try to keep up with what everybody else wearing and what everybody else think is fashion. Shout out to Tony D., just like me, I'm going to rock these casually. Now, Tony D said he might throw some jeans on with them. I don't think I ever really rocked them with jeans, but I'm definitely going to put them on with some sweats or some, some shorts or with some socks, with some Nikes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I'm rocking these. I'm not going to play basketball in them. If I do play basketball, I'm definitely not going to put one of the most... One of my most anticipated sneakers that I really like and wrinkle them up and put them on the court. I'm going to try to make these last as long as possible because who's, no, who's to say when they're going to uh, retro again, man? So anyway, I want to put this quick vid up. This is size seven and a half. My size 13 should be on the way. Hopefully it fits good. Some people say you should go true size. Some people say go up half a size. The 12 and a half was way too expensive, so I went with the 13. Hopefully they fit good. Anyway, y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of the KD4 returning. Ever since 2012, we ain't seen these guys. And they actually retro some of the stuff that we missed out on that was crazy resale. Gotta love it. That's why I went for the Big Bangs. That's why I went for these. I got the Big Lucky and got the Big Bangs for retail. Shout out to um, my guy Bart at Soul Play. He actually, actually let me get his personal pair size 13. And um, I haven't worn it yet, but I'm, I'm going to wear it pretty soon. I might wear it this All-Star Weekend. I might wear it this weekend. And just pull it out with some sweats or something, like I said, and rock them. And to everybody, hey, man, everybody do stuff differently. There's a lot of people that, that's in the game right now buying sneakers that wasn't in the game back in 2012, and they don't remember the struggle. Like I said, before I go, I'm just going to tell a quick story. And it's not even like a long story, but a lot of people, y'all, a lot of y'all might have heard this before. When these drop. It was pandemonium, bro. Like I said, I think it was Orlando. They had to shut Orlando House of Hoops down or something like that because people were just going crazy over the Galaxy phone posits. That was the most popular shoe by far that year. I didn't really care for that. I just wanted these. I wanted the KDs. I wanted the LeBron 9s. I wanted those two shoes. I wasn't even really crazy about the Kobe's like that. I wanted. I just know I wanted the KDs and the LeBron 9s. And I went to a couple of stores, waiting in line, waiting in line, and just... I went to Walter's. And it was a, probably about, because some dunks came out, some some dunk highs came out too. They kind of had that galaxy theme. Everything had that Area 51 galaxy theme that year, that Apollo space station type of theme. And I remember, Shaw, that I was waiting out in front of Walters for like two hours. They let 10 people come in there and go out, and they was like, we sold out. And I was like, bro, it's like eight shoes they dropped today. They said... They came out when they sold out of KDs. They said we sold out of KDs. When they came out, they sold out of LeBron. They said we sold out of LeBron. The LeBrons are gone. When they sold out of Dunks, the Dunks are gone. The first thing that sold out, of course, was the Galaxy phone posits. It had a dude that had been waiting in line all week. He put his chair out there and he sat in his chair and he sat in that chair. The whole, he, like it, we had to use the bathroom. We went to use the bathroom. We had to go get something to eat. We went to get something to eat. But he sat and camped out in that chair, like from the beginning of the week until that weekend, to the shoe drop. He was the first person to get his shoe. And I remember him pulling off in the car with his Galaxy phone pies out the window, like got him, got him. And everybody who walked to the car with their bags, it was like dudes just scoping from the line. I thought someone was going to jump off, but it never did. Because the shoes, all the shoes were sold out before half of the line had even, before a quarter of the line. Then I went to uh, House of Hoops uh, Foot Locker, which the only House of Hoops Foot Locker was in um, South Lake Mall. We only had one House of Hoops. And they that was the only two. Walters and House of Hoops, 
I don't even, Nike Linux might have got them too. Was Nike Linux? Nike Linux was there, but I think it was a line for all that stuff, and the shoes went so quick. I feel like they were super limited, but I don't know, man. I had to go ahead and go and go. I probably they retail at one thirty. I paid like two sixty something for them, and to me, that's the small price to pay for a shoe that I've been wanting for this long, and. That the price never went under like six hundred dollars over all these years, man. So anyway, my pair will be on the way. I might do an unboxing. I might not. Um, I've done the review already. Y'all see the shoe? I might do it on feet. Who knows? And I'll show y'all how to rock them. I'll show y'all how I'm a rocker. You feel me? Anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Step all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Watch me so stupid, the Dara. Check out my kiss in apparel. Rich like a king of fairy, yeah. Yeah, Air Capitan, they calling me Jet like I'm Sparrow. East Atlanta in my blood, the streets got me twin like Tia to Mary, yeah. Watch out with the Camaro. Stay out my lane, it's too narrow. God more, God more, stay in bless, I'm keeping my eye on the sparrow. Man of the people you did, they singing my name just like it's a carol. Cause my got the juice by the barrier, yeah. I can't really help it, bro, they know that I'm the ish, yeah. Get me boss of sauce and might just pull up right at wish, yeah. L B R G me, now I'm Gucci, Gucci, bricks. But when I step out, bro, it's 10 for 10, I don't miss rich. I just cannot, I just cannot, I, 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 I just cannot